Today, we're going to give you the fastest and least BS guide to becoming more anonymous in 2021. So let's start the list right now. Count the clock. The first thing you need to do is delete your IRL data associated with your name. So you might be familiar with websites like White Pages, but there's hundreds of websites like that that store your IRL information. So if someone does find your name, it's really easy for them to find everything about you and hunt you down. They could swat you, harass you, um, dox you, send you pizzas or whatever. There's services out there like Join Delete Me that pretty much scan all these websites and delete all the information you request. Um, so I would recommend using that. If you use code Thomas Spark, you can get 10% off it, but it's a really recommended tool and I love using it. I use it myself and it's helped me a lot. Number two, use a better browser. In this case, I'm going to be recommending Brave. Brave is the best default privacy and anonymity um, browser you can get. It automatically blocks ads and trackers. It has a lot of cool privacy integrations you could take advantage of. Not only that, but they're even developing a private search engine and you can earn cryptocurrency while you use it. And the cryptocurrency itself, Bat, has been doing really well lately and picking up a lot of hype. So definitely check out Brave and use it on every single platform. Number three, forget WhatsApp, use Signal. Signal is probably a de facto uh, privacy related instant messenger you can use nowadays. It's open source, it's free, easy to use, encrypts your messages, doesn't store your data, and it's just amazing. So use Signal converts your friends to use signal and you should be set in terms of instant messaging privacy at least number four use a vpn now there's a lot of haters out there that say hey vpns won't give you anonymity but that's not really the point the point is to move your layer of trust from your isp instead to a vpn we all know that isps aren't worth trusting at all they're selling our data collecting our data monitoring everything we do including our tracked internet history and any website you go to instead use a vpn that will prevent your isp from spying on you and then route your connection to the vpn itself now which vpns can you trust with this data well there's not too many out there but fortunately i'm also reviewed every single one on this channel and i have put them on vpn tierless.com choose a tier one option code tom spark should get you some kind of discount on most every vpn on my list so check those out next up don't draw attention to yourself on social media posting irl pictures um, using information from your real life to create screen names and don't create drama to incentivize others to track you down and ruin your privacy one of the worst ways to kind of ruin your privacy and become less anonymous online is to draw attention to yourself which ironically is kind of hard to as a YouTuber, but for you who's just a viewer, you could do this pretty easily yourself. So don't be a dick to other people online to draw attention to yourself, and ideally don't do anything criminal on the internet either to draw attention to yourself that way. Because most of the time, as you know on the internet, everything's stored and it could come back to haunt you later on. Number five, use a private encrypted email instead of a free service like Gmail or Yahoo. That's because these services sell your data and don't give you any privacy at all. If something's free, your data is the cost. My recommended private encrypted email is private mail. It's made by the people who made Torgar VPN, which is a super trusted VPN provider. So you know they're gonna handle your data securely and safely and not collect any logs. It has a mobile application, a really well-designed website, and it gives you tons of data for a pretty good price. Use code TomSpark for 50% off that. Number six, get a burner number so you don't have to put your real life number on all these websites so people could find you that way or, you know, end up finding your number and call you and leave you all these stupid messages. You can use a privacy friendly app like Hushed, which is really cool. It gives you burner numbers. You can create as many as you want and text and call people um, without giving your real number away. You could get this application and the service for around $25 lifetime, which is really good. That gives you around 6,000 SMS messages per year and around 1,000 call minutes per year as well. The application is very easy to use, multi-platform, and you can download it right away. Click on the link down in the description down below to get that $25 lifetime offer. Finally, number seven, and this might seem obvious, but don't put your real life information on forms. You know, there are some instances where you might have to do this. Maybe you want to find some insurance quotes. Maybe you want to find some dentists or doctors or things like this. Some IRL things that do require you to share some information. Ideally, what you should be doing is using that burner number so you could keep track of things that way and use your um, private encrypted email for stuff you really need to keep track of and for stuff you might need to put information of, but you probably don't want to keep track 
track of, instead of using your private encrypted email provider, use something that is more of a disposable email provider. And you can use stuff like Gorilla Mail and stuff like that, which work really good for short time windows, but aren't ideal for long-term keeping track of stuff. Just keep that in mind, the differences and use cases between disposable email and private encrypted email. Anyways, guys, that's about wraps up my quick product-based recommendation for anonymity in 2021. Hope you like the sped up nature of this guide that didn't waste any of your time and give you a lot of helpful products and information to stay more anonymous and secure going forward. Anyways, guys, stick around for more VPN content, privacy stuff, or general anonymity content going in 2021, and I'll see you again very soon.